Hey guys, here with another real-time workout recording for you. So this is a 30-minute high-intensity interval training plyometric power workout. So the way that this workout is structured is slightly different to usual with the warm-up. There is the usual five minutes of 10 exercises, 30 seconds each, no rest. But then considering the explosive nature of the workout and the cold weather here in Melbourne, I added onto the warm-up with following a 30 second rest just to take off any layers and have a quick drink. We did five rounds of 30 seconds of five different dynamic stretches. So the warm up was a total of eight minutes, five minutes of usual warm up, 30 second rest, and then two and a half minutes of dynamic stretching. We then went into the plyometric power circuit. So the circuit is 15 exercises, and for each exercise we do 30 seconds work and 30 seconds rest, and we do two lots through the circuit with a bonus one minute rest between sets, so including the last 30 second break, added to that one minute recovery, there is a 90 second rest between exercises halfway through the workout to really get our breathing and heart rate back under control, refresh for the next set so that we can go at 100% intensity for the second set. At the end of the workout, we went into a about 10 minute cool down stretch, starting with dynamic movements and then going into some deeper, longer hold stretches as the muscles cool down. So you don't need any equipment for this workout. You don't need shoes, but if you would like them for comfort due to the high impact explosive nature of the workout, you are more than welcome. However, if like me, you prefer not to wear shoes as usual, I do recommend a soft surface such as a yoga or exercise mat for comfort, but it is not necessary. You 100% will need a sweat towel though and a water bottle. So grab those and let's get into this 30 minute hit plyometric power workout. As I said, 10 exercises, 30 seconds each. Then we'll have a quick 30 second rest just to grab a quick drink, take any layers off, and then we'll go into a five dynamic stretches, 30 seconds each. So we'll just be starting with just our jumping jacks. So right off the bat. So just squeeze the shoulder blades together. So we've got strong arm movements as well. Nice and light on the feet. Core's tight. Keep the heels off the ground. So we're gonna warm the calves up. You're gonna be doing a lot of work tonight. You're gonna be helping to absorb all the landing so we're not landing hard on our joints. Go into our faux skipping. So feet staying facing forward. Just bounce from calf to calf. Get the arms going as well. So we're really gonna be absorbing our landings tonight. So bending through the knees and hips, not landing flat footed, not landing with weight on our heels. Nice shock absorption through our joints. All right, runner with our right leg moving. So left leg support, half squat position. Right leg is pistoning back and forth. Pump those arms as well. our balance, drive that knee, pump those arms, get that heart rate up, right, cross behind heel taps, so lift the leg with the hamstring behind across the body, slight oblique crunch, reach down and touch, get a bonus quad stretch for this one as well which I like. These hammies are going to be doing a lot of work tonight, especially in the uh, landings. So we'll get them nice and warm. All right, runner with our left leg this time. So right leg's in that nice support position. Left leg's pistoning forward and back. Arms are pumping. So we're starting to get warm now. And glutes, hamstrings, hips. So the glutes are where we get a lot of the power from. So we're going to be going deep into and out of our jumps today. All right, our boxes skip this time. So we're opening the hips up with this one. So side to side, open the hips up. You can get your arms if you want as well. I 
off and just do it automatically. So just key is that we're rotating the hips in and out, get those hip flexors warmed up. All right, side run around right leg now. So working on those side glutes and hip. Left leg in that half squat support position. Right leg in and out, nice and quick, arms pumping. Core is tight. We're gonna use our core a lot for stability and takeoff and landing. Helps to keep us nice and safe, keep everything in a straight line by engaging the core when we jump. All right, side to side windmill. So down half uh, side lunge, one side, rock over. Windmill those arms as we go. Bonus groin stretch with this one. Stay low as you go side to side, instead of coming up in the middle. And rotate that torso. All right, side runner, left leg. So that right leg supporting, left leg going in and out, using those side glutes and hip muscles. Should be nice and warm now, so we can sink a little bit lower into that squat. And pumping those arms. We use our arms for momentum a lot with jumping, so we need them warm. All right, squats with arm circles, reach up, open wide, squat down. Full extension, up and out, and then cross over down. Swap to forward circles, so extending on the way up this time. Get nice and low now, should be loose and limber. All right, 30 second rest just to take off any layers. Have a quick towel off, grab a quick drink. Then we've just got five lots of 30 seconds of some dynamic stretches. So I said, lots of explosive power right from the first exercise, so we need to make sure we're limber. So we'll be starting with 40 kicks in five seconds. So. Go straight leg, same side arm and leg, just up, loosen those hamstrings up, nice and quick with these, get a bit of an ab stretch as well, if you extend the hand up, and then reach down as you bring that leg up, it's a straight leg kick, so we get the stretch of the hamstring. All right, going into scoops. So front leg straight, scoop down. Sink the hips low to that back leg. Stretch out front calf and hamstring. Get nice and quick through these movements to begin with. Nice stretch. All right, Superman. So just nice, quick movements. Just hold it for a couple of seconds as you bend over. Feel the quad and hip flexor stretch. So we don't want to be static stretching before our workout. That will take the power out of the muscles. But dynamic stretching will help to loosen them up, get them ready to work. All right, open the gate. So open the hip, rotate 90 degrees, drop it down. So open the hips up nice and high, nice and wide. Working on core to help with the balance. Keep that grounded leg hip facing forward. So we open the hips up rather than twisting the hip. All right, last stretch of our warm-up. Just a couple of quick pretzels each side. 
So cross the leg over, squat down, stretch that glute and back up. Oh, my glutes are already sore. Only going to get worse, that's for sure. <laughs> Nice and warm and loose now, ready to go into our plyometric power circuit. So 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Make sure in our recovery we are working on our breathing. Best way to get your heart rate under control is to get your breathing under control. We'll go through two sets, 15 exercises, a minute recovery between sets. So with the addition of the 30 second rest after the last exercise, that'll give us 90 seconds, nice long rest between sets to fully recover so we can go 100% again in the second circuit. Focus of all movements is on power, but also safety, cushioning the landing, making sure we've got our balance. We're not just going side to side wobbly or up and down with our wobbly with our knees going in and out. We're getting a solid foundation before we leave the ground and a nice soft cushion landing. Absorb the impact, protect the joints, use the muscles, stretch under the tension to take that load. All right, so our first exercise, we're just starting with snowboard switches. So a 180 degree rotation in and out of a squat jump with one hand touching the ground. So make sure that we're not bending over to touch the ground. We're sinking the hips low and then just drop the hand and then spring up 180 degree turn, stick the landing, cushion with the knees, drop the hips, hand and then spring back around. So let's go, 30 seconds of those snowboard switches. I want you to focus on the landings. Go as high as you can, spring up, stick that landing. As soft and quiet on the landing as we can. Sink the hips backwards, spring up, extend the feet, rotate with the core, drop down low. Great work. All right, shake the legs out. As I said, starting from explosive right off the top. That's why we did a stretch. All right, new exercise. Plank donkey jumps. So we did, I think you guys were with me when we did the plank donkey kicks. So hands on the ground, both legs kick up, double butt kick and down. Just like that. Let's go. So nice and quick. Keep the core tight. Your back and butt should stay in relatively the same space the entire time. And you're just jumping off the toes, contracting the hamstrings, kicking your butt. If the jump is too much, just do one leg at a time. Go work. As I said, make sure you use the rest. Deep breaths. Keep walking through the rest. Don't stand still. Next exercise, just dynamic lunges. So lunge, jump up, swap legs. Nice and safe on the landing on these ones. So down, spring up, swap legs, get that landing and swap. Use the arms to help you. Make sure the front knee does not go in front of the front toes. Drive out of the heel. Explode up. Swap legs. Use the core. Help you balance. Good work. Keep moving. Keep the legs 
keep working them just with walking help to keep that lactic acid out of the muscles all right side to side 45 degree hip twist so shoulders are facing forward hips 45 degrees to one side jump twist 45 degrees the other side you can travel up and down the mat if you want like so or you can just stay in the middle and rotate side to side make sure the hips knees and toes all point in a straight line and rotate together so there's no rotation through the knee joint the rotation is at the hip by using those abs great work all right 180 degree jump burpee so we start in the middle of our mat we do a burpee when we come up we rotate 180 degrees go down to a burpee again you don't have to do the push-up you don't have to get your chest to the ground just put the hands down and back so hands down jump back jump up 180 degrees stick the landing on that twist before you go down drop the legs back engage the core when you're in the plank to keep the hips up so we don't let the hips drop to the ground like that we engage the core catch the landing 180 degrees good work all right we're third done of this set all right five double leg calf bounces one tuck jump imagining we're skipping so we're getting the arms going as well so light on the feet five calf bounces with the rope and then tuck jump drive the knees up to the chest on the tuck jump nice and soft on that landing keep those arms spinning as if you were jumping over the rope good work core tight use it to help you drive those knees up Whew. great work All right, coming down to an elbow plank position. We've got plank jacks. So keeping our back straight, hips up. We just jump the feet in and out. So plank, out and in. Keep the core tight. Try and limit bouncing of the hips. Shoulders stacked above elbows. Back flat. Hips down. Alright, standing up. Hello, Jacks. Everyone's favorite. <laughs> so explosive plyometric star jump. We start down, crunched in, explode up, open and down. So down, explode up, arms and legs, soft landing. You can either touch the ground or just cross your arms over. Whichever you prefer, just make sure you get nice and low on the landing, nice and high and wide on the jump. Get the feet together on the landing and then wide. Great work. Deep breaths.
All right, reverse burpees. So come to the end of our space, facing away. Little calf bounce. Drop down, tuck up, or go up into pot. Momentum, jump up. You can do whichever you prefer with the lower body. Just make sure you tuck the knees in on the roll up. Get the momentum. Spring up. You can use your hands to help you. Quartz tight the whole time. Great work. Standing up. Heel tap, squat jumps. So, we're like Dorothy tapping our heels together at the top of a squat jump. So we're down, squat jump, click the heels together, land. So tap the heels, wide landing in a squat, nice and deep. I find it helps to shoot the hands back when I jump. Bring them forward when I land. Click those heels, drop back down. Get the butt low and back. Lovely. All right, two thirds done of this set. Doing great. Alright, groin up plank, mountain climber jumps. So extended arm plank position. One leg is up. We jump and swap legs. Swap leg, little bounce, swap leg. Keep the back low. Cushion the landing. Little pulse, swap leg. Keep the core tight. Shoulders above wrists, back leg straight, front leg nice and bent, core tight. Alright. Regular, good old squat jumps. We're focused on getting as high as possible on the jump, as low as possible on the landing. Really strong drive through the heels. Let's go nice and low, explode up, cushion. Spring up, use the arms to help you. Extend all the way through the feet. Land soft. Rebound up. Great work. Three more until halfway. All right, side to side jump rope. So calves and abs. Imaginary skipping rope. Imaginary line on the ground, we're jumping side to side, two feet together, pointing forward. Knees try and stay together, like we're a mogul skier. Quick flicks with the wrists. Hips stay facing forward, so there's no rotation. Imaginary line on the ground. We're going side to side over. Heels off the ground the whole time. <laughs> Lovely. A little rest for the glutes that was. Because we're about to burn them up again. 
All right. Squat to lunge jumps. So squat, jump, lunge, one leg back, back to squat, jump, other leg, lunge. All jumps. So squat, lunge. Squat, other leg, lunge. Keep the hips facing forward the whole time. Torso up the whole time. Front knee never goes in front of the front toes. Hips are going up and down in a straight line. Lovely. All right, last exercise. Chest to floor burpee. So you don't have to do the push up, but you have to drop your chest to the floor, lift the hands up, and then push up slash dive bomber up to our feet. So bounce, hands back, chest down, hands up, push up, feet up. Make sure before you drop your body, you catch that plank position. Drop, hands come up, push up, back to the feet. Ooh, great work. All right, let's end of our first set. 90 second rest. Buzzer will go in 20 seconds, ignore it. Don't sit down. Don't stand still through this recovery. Keep walking. Do some dynamic stretching if you feel you need it. Minute rest. Get the breathing under control. Take some sips of water. You're doing great. We're on the home stretch now. Don't try and take too big gulps of water. You don't want to get a stitch. And do some stretching if you feel you need it. Otherwise, just keep walking around, moving slowly. 15 seconds. Snowboard switches. Let's go equal or if not high intensity this round than the first. Let's go. So hips low, explode up, rotate, stick the landing, up and turn, sink the hips. Back stays up and straight. The hips drop so we can touch the ground. Nice soft landing. Youch. All right. And then change up the plank donkey. Make it frog sit to donkey. All right. So. We start like we were doing the donkey. So hands down, butt kick, double up. So then we rock back onto the feet, hands come up, jump forward. So we don't extend the legs. We just rock off hands and feet in a frog donkey kick position. Keep the core tight, nice and low. Bend in the knees. Chest upright and then down. Burn the quads. Ooh. All right. Dynamic lunges. Doing great.
After this, the quads get a little bit of a rest, so burn them up. Won't be too difficult if they're already on fire like mine are. Dynamic lunges, let's go. If the full dynamic lunge is too difficult, change it to a pop lunge. So pop up in the middle, both feet, then down. Otherwise, full dynamic lunge, side to side. Make sure we stick the landing before we come up. Lots of core involvement here. Okay, well. All right. <coughs> side to side, 45 degree hip twists. Again, make sure when we rotate that the hips, knees and feet rotate as one in the same direction, going from 45 degrees left to 45 degrees right, shoulders stay facing forward. You can go up and down along your mat if you like, or you can just stay in the middle, whichever you prefer. Just make sure you're rotating the lower body as one, Keeping the heels off the ground. Engage those calves and those abs. <laughs> Lovely. All right. 180 degree burpee. Remember to stick the rotational landing before you go down. All right, let's go. So burpee, 180 degrees. Stick the landing down. Catch the hips in that plank position. Full extended arm. Engage the core, drive the legs up, rotate 180. <laughs> Lovely. All right, a third of the way through this second set. Only 10 exercises left. First one, five calf bounces, one tuck jump. Nice and quick on the feet, heels off the ground. Let's go. Drive the knees up on the tuck jump. Cushion on the landing, absorb with the knees and the calves and the ankles. And my hair's coming out. All right, plank jacks next. Keep moving on your on your rest. Ten seconds. Plank jacks. Two. One, oh, yeah. All right, plank jacks, let's go. Elbows, legs in and out, hips stay steady. Just on the toes, core tight, shoulders above, elbows, back flat. All right, standing up. Plyo jacks. So we're exploding up as high and wide 
into that star shape as we can. Touch the ground or cross the arms over on the landing. Nice and low, explode up. Cushion the landing. Keep the torso up the whole time. Bring the feet in on the landing. Full extension to the four corners of an imaginary square and then bring everything in tight. Great work. Reverse burpee. Again, your choice of what you do with the legs in the crunch. You can tuck or extend. Just make sure you get the hips off the ground. Engage the abs nice and tight as we roll up, explode up. Explode through the toes. Point them and then soft landing. Upward on the jump, get the chest up. Uh. Heel tap squat jumps. Click those heels together at the top. Open wide for the landing. Nice and explosive. Long, wide. Click those feet at the top of the jump. Keep the chest up. Sink the hips low on landing. Squeeze the inner thighs. And then open, nice and low. Burn those quads. All right, two thirds of the way done. Only five exercises left. Doing great. Groin up wide, mans and climber jumps. Going to hip flexor stretch with this one. So hands straight, legs straight, one leg up, bounce, swap leg. Little bounce as you catch it, and then swap. Keep the back flat. Use the core to help switch those legs and keep the hips in a straight line. There's no rotation of the spine. Great work. Squat jumps. Remember, focus, getting as high as we can. On the jump, as low as we can on the squat. Doing great. Four more. Nice and low, up. Point the toes as you leave the ground. Land toe first. Roll back the weights down through the foot onto the heel. Then opposite to take off. Nice and high. Stick the landing. Go again. Great work. Side to side jump rope. Knees stay together. Facing forward, hips stay facing forward, 
jumping over an imaginary line down the middle of your floor. Torso's in the middle, legs go together side to side. Stick the knees together. Just little jumps off the ground. Get the core to get you moving side to side. Nice and quick. Doing great. Lovely. Only two more. Squat to lunge jump. Swap each leg on the lunge each time. Come back to that deep squat in the middle. Let's go. Two exercises left, which means only 60 seconds of work. Give it everything you got. Chest stays up the whole time. Drop at the hips by bending the knee. Power up, soft landing. Lovely. Last exercise. Chest to floor burpee. Remember to catch the hips on the plank before you drop. Chest to the ground and lift the hands. 30 seconds is all we've got. Give it everything. Get the chest up on the jump. Lift the head. Don't stay facing the ground. Good work. Finish off. 10 seconds. Whew. All right, great work. We are done. Whew. My lord. All right, sweaty selfie, and then we'll have a stretch. All right, let's keep moving. Sips of water, towel off. Get the breathing under control. Deep, slow breath in through the nose. Hold it in your chest. Slow exhale through the mouth. Keep moving. Don't stand still. Okay. Let's go into a bit of a stretch. Before we do that, let's see what we're at. 443 calories. Great work. All right, let's go. Slow side to side butt kicks and some arm swings. So stretch out those quads, chest and shoulders. Couple more each side. Let's just keep moving through the opening portion of this stretch and get the heart rate down. All right, we'll do a couple more footy kicks each side. So full extension and kick. You're probably able to get a lot higher with the leg now than before the workout because you're nice and loose and warm. So we'll just keep the muscles moving as they're cooling down to stop them setting like stones. All right, go into our scoops again. We can go a bit slower with these ones. 
So really sink down low into that front hip, fold over and back up. Nice stretch along that hamstring, a bit of calf of that straight front leg. A bit of it back as well. All right, couple of supermans each side. Hold it for longer this time than at the start. Slowly lean forward, extend the stretch and back down. Slow and down. Just a couple each side. Shove the hip forward so you get the full extent of the stretch. Don't collapse forward at the hip. Alright. Hands on our hips, feet just wider than hip width apart. Just a couple of hip thrusts to hinges. So hip thrust, push those hips forward. Arch the back and head over backwards. Stretch the hips, hip flexors, lower abs. And let's hinge forward, so keeping the back straight. Full stretch through the back chain of the hamstrings. You can rock side to side slightly in the hips if you like. And once more each of those. So hip thrust again, thrust the hips forward. Take the weight of the torso on your hands, on your butt. And hinge forward. All right, place your hands down on the ground. Walk the feet back into down dog. So where your heels are just off the ground, drop the head to the mat, open the shoulders, and then pop one foot up onto the ball. Drive all the way to the stretch through that back straight leg. Hold for a couple of seconds and then switch. And just keep alternating those feet every couple of seconds. Don't forget to drop the head to open those shoulders up as well. Okay, now slowly, inch by inch, walk those feet in one at a time, keeping that pedaling motion until our feet are directly below our hips. Then we're going to grab onto our opposite elbows and just hang. And we're going to bounce in a 180 degree arc from side to side, little bounces up and down as we go side to side, getting the hamstrings, a bit of the hips. All right, coming back to middle, we're going to drop the right leg back about two feet, keep the legs straight. Sink the hips back, fold the torso forward over that left leg. Feel it in that front hamstring. So the left hamstring. Really drop the torso so we fully extend that stretch on that left side of the body. Just hold here for a couple seconds. All right, bring the weight forward so the left leg is straight under us. Lift the right leg across in a pretzel and then sink low. Get that right glute. And keep the hands on the ground if you like. And just drop nice and low on that left leg. Pushing the right knee down to the ground as we push the right ankle up. Get the full extent of that stretch on that right glute. Just sit here for a couple of seconds. All right, bring the right leg back down, straight under us. Drop the left leg back now, and then sink the weight and the hips back. Fold forward over that right leg. Nice deep stretch. As I said, keep the hands on the ground to help support you. 
the legs are going to be nice and tired. They can help balance us as we stretch out. Alright, bring the hips and weight forward. Bring the left leg up and across that right leg. And then sink low, stretch out that left glute. Nice and low. All right, great work. Coming up, feet are together. We're gonna take the right leg, put it right behind the left one, cross it over. So the right leg at the back stays straight, the left one at the front bends slightly. And then we're gonna drop and grab the back of our right ankle with both hands and twist our torso to the left side, driving the right hip out towards the right. Get that stretch around that right hip and a little bit of the lats as well. And the glute as well on the side. So turn that torso. And hold. Alright, come back to the middle. Swap the legs. So the right's in front now. Left crosses behind and stays straight. Rotate the torso to that right side. Grab the back of the left heel. And turn. Drive the left heel out towards the left. Away from the way you're turning. Pull the torso around. Alright, great work. Alright, uncross the legs and let's go into a wide stance, keeping the feet facing forward. We're just going to fold over straight and just hang the torso. So this will get a hamstrings, glutes, a little bit of the inside groin as well. So just hang nice and low. All right, keeping the legs straight, we're gonna turn and grab the right leg. So again, wrap the left hand around the back of the right ankle, pull the torso over and across and then bend down. Try to get your head to your kneecap. So help get the groins, also the back top of the glutes, your lats as well, and of course the hamstring. All right, slowly come back to middle, and then over to that left side. So grab right hand around the back of the left ankle and pull. Keep the legs straight. Drop the torso. All right, great work. Back to middle, and then just gonna go bend one knee down, drop the hips, get the groin on that straight leg. So you can keep your hands on the ground in the middle, and we'll go side to side, nice and low. You can pop the straight leg foot up onto the heel. That helps you to feel the stretch. And just side to side a couple of times. All right, back in the middle, walk those feet in slowly until they're under us. And then big inhale. On the way up, as we slowly uncurl our spine. As we stand. All right, and we are done. All right, guys, great work on completing that plyometric power workout and stretch. 
It was definitely a tough one. I was absolutely drenched and dripping with sweat from the get-go. Heart rate was up, breathing was rapid, quads were on fire, but it was a great workout and felt really good once the pain and the burn was over at the end and we could get into that nice cool down stretch. So I hope you enjoyed it as I did. If you follow along at home, I would love to hear your feedback. It is always appreciated. And as always, keep your eyes on the page for more workouts from me over the coming weeks. Catch you guys.